Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and uh, we're back. I'm going to do another survival still video. A lot of folks have commented on the original survival still video that I did, um, saying things like, you know, it's awful expensive for what it is, and why can't they just use filters? And uh, I just want to address those real quickly. You know, uh, I don't think that $279 is too much for what it is. You know, it is a pretty simple device, but it is of, of stainless steel and it is of high quality manufacture. You know, I mean, it's a difference between buying, say, a Lorison 25, you know, and a, and a 1911. 1911 is going to cost a lot more, but you get a lot more from it, right? You know, 279 isn't uh, cheap, but uh, for what this thing can do, I don't think it's an unfair price. And, you know, and the next thing is, you know, so you have filters, right? You know, at our house, we have chemical purification means. We have you know, uh, chlorine generators. We have filters of all types and the capability of making, you know, uh, biofilters, charcoal filters, making charcoal. But I like this still um, because it, it's able to do things that some of the other ones will not, right? If it comes through the, through the still, the distillation process, then you know it's safe. Whereas if you do sodas, you know, it might kill pathogens, but it might not do anything or will not do anything for chemicals, right? Same with filters. Filters may filter out particulate matter, but maybe not viruses. It might get bacteria, it might not get viruses, you know, or it might not get certain chemicals or dissolved metals or those sorts of things. You know, today what we're going to do is, uh, you might recognize this. We just did a, uh, a little mason jar tip for using the top of salt. But I wanted you to see that it was salt. And here's the lid of the salt can that we used, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to do something that I think most filters won't be able to do. And feel free to try this with your filter. But we're going to dump us in some salt. We're going to make us some salt water. And I've already got this water hot and boiling so I can super saturate it. We're putting we're putting a lot of salt in there. I put more in, but I'm a little bored. <laughs> You know, as you get used to this, you start figuring out the best ways of doing things. Once I put this, uh, um, put the still way elevated over my bucket, the distillation rate kind of, well not the distillation rate, that's going to stay the same, but the water collection rate has really increased. It's, it's pouring out and I've got about a cup already and I've only been doing this just a couple minutes. All right. And, uh, when this cup fills up, I'll put another cup underneath here because I'm trying to get all the water out. I'm trying to see if I can get uh, my bucket to turn into salt crystals because it was something I've always wanted to do as a kid and never was able to quite get it done right. So I'm playing with the salt water. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, this is a pretty efficient means of doing uh, what you're trying to do, which is purify your water. And my collection rate is, is pretty high. You know, it's a little higher than my ceramic drip filter. All right, so I let it run, and then I went onto the computer, watched a Netflix of a uh, old TV show called Prison Break. So it's been sitting here about an hour. I've turned everything off, and now let's uh, taste it. Hot, but. Uh, no taste of salt at all. <coughs> really reduce the um, amount of water in the container. I'm betting salt crystals will form 
if they do I'll uh, scrape them out and uh, when my chicken baking gets good we'll uh, we'll smoke the salt too okay so like I said I'm more than willing to put any video responses of people that want to use their filter to try to get out salt water right because filters won't take out anything that's actually in solution you're going to need distillation for that but uh, anyway there you go and until next time catch you online www.tngun.com